Hey guys, it's Brittany and today I have a wig review for you guys. So today's wig review is brought to you by uh, HairSoFly.com. They were kind enough to send me three different colors of the same wig. And the wig I'm gonna be showing you guys today is another Bobbi Boss wig in the style MBLF90 Juba. And the color I have on right now is a number four. So this is what Juba looks like on the card. Now that blue color that the model is wearing, they were sold out in that particular color, so I didn't get that color. I was influenced to get this wig by Wigs to Wastelands. Um, I probably mentioned her in a couple of my videos because she's really great. If you have not subscribed to her channel, you need to. She does a lot of fun colors. She, use, she does a lot of purples and colors like that. So if you have not subscribed to her channel, definitely check her out. I'll put her video on the info card um, for you guys to check out. So I saw her post, I follow her on Instagram and Facebook and she posted her wearing this wig in a number two and I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to try this wig out. I like bobs in general. I love bobs that have a yakky texture. So I wanted to try this wig out. With my wig sale, I sold one of my favorite bobs because I stopped wearing it as much. I sold my MLC159 from Magic Lace and so I don't have any, I don't have many bobs left. So I wanted to try this out because it was a little bit longer than the bobs I had tried uh, previously. And this looks very, very pretty. As you guys saw in the previous footage, this wig comes with no combs at all, but I, I don't think I adjusted the straps. The wig is still fitting good to my head. It's not like too loose or too tight. So I would say it's a medium cap, um, but if you have a smaller head, you're definitely gonna probably have to adjust your straps to make it uh, fit closer to your head. The parting space looks good right out the pack, but at the beginning, I felt like I needed to pull a few hairs out, so that's what I did. So, so far, I have a few strands here and there of shedding. No tangling yet. This is the first time I am wearing this wig. The luster of the wig looks very natural. It has so much flow to it. <laughs> this reminds me of that video of that guy just moving his head like that. This has so much movement to it and it's so, so pretty. Yeah, I just feel like this is gonna be a hot wig that a lot of people are gonna go after. So that's why I had to jump on it as soon as I saw her review. The density of this wig is very thick. Like when I put it on, um, when I was trying it on for you guys, I was kind of like, oh my gosh, this is way thicker than I was thinking. This is not a thin wig at all. So I could see this being a little bit hot for people right now in the summertime, but I really will wear any wig any time of year, even if it's really hot, I'll probably still wear this. I'm six feet tall and I have a longer neck and this falls on me about 14 inches long. So it is a longer bob. There's the front. There is the left side. It's the right side. All the hair to the back. This is very, very beautiful. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else. I am gonna insert what this number four looks like in natural lighting and everything because I know studio light reads differently than natural lighting. So I'll insert those pictures throughout the video and I'm gonna try on the other colors for you guys. All right guys, so I'm back and I have on the FS4 slash 27. And of course the style is beautiful, but I don't like this color mix as much as like the solid colors. Uh, just because the way that they have the 27 in here is kind of really chunky and it kind of gives it like an early 2000s kind of highlighted look. So it looks, look, so it looks a little bit dated. So initially the 27 streak went all the way to the root. So I just took my mascara and just rubbed it around the root of the wig just to give it more of a fade because it, it's, I just don't like the way that looks. So I will move on to the other colors that I do have. All right guys, so I am back and I have on the 99J color and it is gorgeous. Like this is my kind of 99J color. It's not so subtle to where it looks like it's like a 1B or a number two. It's so vibrant, but it's very subtle. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm gonna insert pictures of what this color looks like in natural lighting. So the last 99J I really liked was Sensational's Rita, 
but the parting space on that wig was weird so i sold that one but the color on that one was beautiful and this one is gorgeous oh my gosh and then that parting space looks so good and this wig has a this wig has soft lace but it's laying really flat it's laying really flat i also sold my sensationals tulip wig and that was like the last uh red bob that i got um that i didn't dark root this wig does not come with a dark root but the color is perfect it's not like too red but it's not too subtle for me i think this is beautiful i'm not gonna add a dark root to it i love the way this looks this is gorgeous all right guys so i'm back and i have on the number two i decided to get the number two and the number four just because they kind of, even though they're very similar, they give me different looks. Yeah, so I did not get this particular one, the number two from uh, Hair So Fly, because they were out at the time. I got it somewhere else, but um, yeah. Hopefully they have restocked in the number two color, just in case you are a number two kind of girl. I don't think I have any cons for it. So I have never got the, I never got the wig Yara that, that was very popular this year, but Mainly because it has blunt ends and I don't really like blunt cut wigs. So I do like this one as an alternative because it has bumped ends. So yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Let me know which color was your favorite. If you plan on getting this wig, uh, tell me below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Share this video with your friends and family. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.